What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about if we'll get a new prototype game in 2021. So this uh, has been a topic that a lot of people have actually asked me to make over the, the sev several months, really. I've made a lot of prototype videos in the past, and they've always done really well. I've always had so much support for them. And I, I do, before I get too far into this, I do want to thank you guys for that. I really, really do. I love this series. I have always said this series is more about potential than the products we actually received. I don't think either of these games are actually necessary necessarily good you guys know by now if you've watched these videos i actually don't like prototype 2 almost at all prototype 1 i actually really really love it and it holds a, a special place in my heart but i do want to talk about the possibility for it being in 2021 kind of talk about what activision has done in the past and why you know i'm never going to really give up hope for something like this before i get too far in as always if you guys do like this stuff and you guys want me to talk more about prototype which i I'd, I'd love to do make sure you guys are subscribed make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up if you guys want to subscribe to my second channel podcast now plus plus is in the word not the symbol uh you can look it up on youtube or the link for it is in the description below we'd love to have you guys on both channels but obviously if you guys just want to subscribe here that's okay too all right so we've had this talk before we've had this talk basically of like is prototype possible to happen in the future and i say yes i still think yes i think that Activision has kind of proven, and they do it every year. That's the that's the cool thing that actually should get people excited for a Prototype. They've proven that they're willing to go back into the well of older games. And we just had Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two this year, and, and that didn't happen last time I talked about Prototype. You know that just Jeff Keighley announced that during Summer Games Fest that uh, came out in early September and did really really well. Now. It was based off of an established game that was really good. I mean, the Tony Hawk games, especially 1 and 2, they were super, super good. Okay, there's no denying that. But, you know, you have that. You have Crash 4. It's about time. You have the continued rumors of a new Spyro game, which I do think is true. You have the rumors of another Crash game. I mean, it, it's... Like, they're popular franchises that have been popular for a long time that were brought back and tested out to see if people still like them. But you're seeing a willingness, I think, not even just from them, but you look around the gaming industry, of more and more companies, or the same companies still, just constantly continuing uh, doing this kind of stuff, doing remasters, doing remakes, bringing back older stuff. And, you know, again, it's like I said even in the beginning of the video, the thing with Prototype, it's hard because... I don't think they've completely forgotten about it. Obviously, for those that don't know, the the team that made these two games, they're closed. They're gone. They're they're you know they're, that's not happening, right? So you're, they're not going to get the same studio that made Prototype One and Two to make a Prototype Three. And as I've said, maybe the best way of doing it. Well, there's two ways. You either completely reboot the entire thing and you start from scratch, or you do some sort of remaster collection for Prototype One and Two. Now. As of right now, there are those collections of Prototype 1 and 2. I think there was that even on like the PS3, there's or PS3, Xbox 360, and there still is now on the PS4 and Xbox One. You can play them. Now, the issue is the the current gen or last gen, whatever you want to consider it, the PS4 era, PS4, Xbox One, uh, it's only like a port. Like there are zero enhancements done to that game on those systems. Okay, it's, it's the exact same game. They just put them together, but it still exists and people are still playing it and people still buy it. And I think people still enjoy it in a way. The thing, the biggest issue, the biggest hurdle that I, that's always been the case is is really two things. Number one, the games were never all that good. And number two, the games really didn't sell all that well. Now they did. They, they sold decently. They sold decently, but not to maybe the level that Activision looks at as like a successful thing, especially for like a new franchise like Prototype. You'd probably imagine or you'd think that they would imagine that the game would sell like really, really well or they would want it to do really well. You had Prototype 1, it did pretty okay, but also then you had the fact that there, there were a lot of issues, a lot of issues with Prototype 1. Prototype 2 happened, and my dear Jesus, what, what did they do? Again, we've talked about that in the past before. And, you know, I know people have, uh, these people have told me, like, there's, there's even things on YouTube of people, like, pitching a Prototype 3. Of course I would want a Prototype 3. Of course I would want um, them to kind of fix the mistakes of the past games. But, again, I think the issue with Prototype has always been – the potential of what it is and like even the goriness and the violence and the destruction and the action that kind of stuff and like the morphing that and even the prime i know i keep saying and that and that and that and but like the premise all these there's a lot there's a lot that's good with prototype but those outweigh 
the game itself. The you know, I like Alex Mercer personally. In fact, in the first prototype game, I really liked Alex Mercer. You look at the comics, right? The Dark Horse comics, I believe, that kind of bridge the gap between one and two. Like I see why he became what he became, but also I just despised it in prototype two. I didn't think that the you know the main character of one should be the villain of two. I hated James Heller, uh, all of that. I mean, there was just a lot of weaknesses. The game graphically didn't really hold up the game. I had a lot of like pop-in issues. There was a lot. They didn't fully realize, I think, what they had. And so that's the hard thing where it's like, okay, if you were to do a new prototype, and because that's, that's the thing. By the way, I didn't say prototype three. I said, will, they, will we get a new prototype game, which means a collection. It, re it means a remaster. It means a remake. It means a, you know, whatever. It can mean whatever. That's why I titled it, and that's why I'm talking about it the way that I am because in reality, for a, I, I just you can be as optimistic as you want, okay? I, I really do believe that. You can be as optimistic as you want. Don't let me tell you you can't. But, but let me give you just my own opinion. When you have a game that sales-wise wasn't as successful as they wanted, when performance-wise it was not received all that well, when the studio that made it is gone, it's shut down, and when you have the games being as old as they are, it's been several years. since I don't even remember what year Prototype 2 even came out, but it's been, let's say, at least half a decade. I don't think it came out in 2015. It had to come out way before then. So, you know, you know what I mean? Actually, I believe Prototype 1 was 2009, so Prototype 2 was, what, 2011 or 2012? So it's been almost a decade since we got a new one of these games. I don't think we're getting a third one. I think the only hope we have, and honestly, I would even go, uh, fur I would go further and say, I don't know if we're even in a situation where you give us like a remaster of it. I think there's a lot of potential there. I think people remember this game more fondly than Activision probably thinks. I do think that. I do think there's a group out there that really, now the question is how big or small of a group is that group, right? Because if there's like a 20,000 person group that really appreciates this game, well, that's fine. That does sound like a big number, but when the game comes out and it sells half a million, 1 million, 2 million units, and they want it to sell four, five, six million, well, you have an issue. You know what I mean? You have a problem there. So, I, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's difficult. I think it's probably, and we've talked about, I think we've talked about every avenue, prototype three, a remaster, a remake, or and just starting from scratch. And I think where we're at right now, again, Activision specifically has shown, you know, interest in doing this with other games, okay? So a remaster, I guess, isn't for sure out of the, you know, out of the cards. But I just think, like a Tony Hawk, even looking at that as an example, okay, making the Tony Hawk remaster, it is possible they could make a brand new Tony Hawk game. And it's possible they did that remake simply to do that, right? Test the water, see if people still like it, which, by the way, the answer is a resounding yes, and then get a new Tony Hawk game off the ground and make it actually good. Don't make it like the last couple that they've made. You know what I mean? For Prototype, if you did a remake, even as I don't think you do a remake, if you did a remaster collection of one and two, you're kind of hinting that, like, hey, if it does well, we'll do a prototype three. But I just don't think that's even on their minds. You know what I mean? I could imagine on their minds, if they if they even ever talk about prototype, is should we just reboot it? Give it to a uh, give it to a new studio that we have, or like like a new studio from the one that originally made it, and give it to just a studio that we own in general, and see if they can do it right. See if they can take the premise of what prototype is, and just you know, it would be completely different. It'll be a completely different game, but maybe it'll be like really, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll start something. Maybe we'll start something. So. You know, I don't think the odds are high. I guess uh, if you want to really nitpick the title or the topic, there's 0% chance, I think. 0% chance we get – well, I, I, let me take that back. Uh, like uh, a prototype 3, a prototype – like a brand new game, like prototype 1, you know, a, as in like a new game. I don't think we get that in 2021. Best case scenario is there's an announcement for it. Remaster, a remaster is definitely, I don't want to say like it's impossible that we could get a remaster prototype in 2021 because they could announce it and then it could release just a couple months later. So I don't think that's completely, you know, out of touch or, you know, completely uh, insane basically to say. But let me know, guys, in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think 2021 could be the year for Prototype? Do you think it's more waiting? Do you think this is a franchise that they'll just never return to in general? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. This is also, by the way, for those interested, this is uh, the start of a new series. I think actually there's going to be one other video as well. I want to talk about loads, loads of games that exist, don't exist, are rumored, you know, all that stuff. 
going into 2021. So this, well, you know, this topic had to do with 2021. I want to do that with a lot more other games. So let me know if there's any other games you guys want me to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed. Bell icon turn on. Uh, subscribe to my second channel, Podcast Now Plus. I hope to see you guys on the next video.